Hi, this is Keith All, and welcome back to another tutorial using DAX functions. And I'm doing this within the Microsoft Excel 365 Power Pivot environment. Uh, today, we're going to learn uh, multiple functions in DAX, and our end result is we're going to calculate the total revenue for each customer name, meaning that uh, uh, the percentage of total revenue. So we're going to find what the total revenue is per customer. As you see here, we need to figure out what the total revenue is for all the customers, which is this fun uh, calculation here. And then we're going to get the percentage of revenue uh, uh, for each customer, meaning that this is the amount the total revenue for this customer. Then we take this amount divided by the total revenue for all customers and we get a percentage. So all that we're going to be using multiple functions within uh, uh, Power Pivot. So let's go over here to our tab. I already created a pivot table that uses the data model that I've already imported. So I'm going to click on here in my customer info table and that gives me a unique list of all the customers and then I want to get the revenue per customer so I'm going to click on revenue so now what I just did was here let's go back here by dragging a field into the values area of the pivot table that creates an implicit measure so an implicit measure is just a calculation created by Excel, created automatically by Excel, when you place a field into the values area of the pivot table. So let's figure out how this is being done. Let's go into our data model, and you could do that by going to the Power Pivot tab and click on Manage, or go to the Data tab and click on the Power Pivot window. So basically, Here's my data model. I'm going up to the diagram view. And this is my data model. So basically, I have a customer info table, a product info table, and that feeds into the orders table. So let's go back to the data view. And that sum function, basically what it was doing was it was going to the customer info table. And let's clear the filter on here. It's going to the customer info table, grabbing all the unique customer names. And then it goes to the orders table. Once we, uh, once we want to get the revenue per customer, it's going to the orders table and looking up all these customer IDs. And it's summing up for each customer, the revenue for everything. So let's go back to our spreadsheet, and that's basically how that is calculated. Another way to determine this is you could double click on here, and what that does is the same thing. It goes into the customer info table and orders table, and it grabs the unique customer ID and goes to the orders table and grabs all the orders for this customer ID and it sums up uh, the orders column. So that's what that is doing. So let's delete this. Okay, our next step is we want to calculate a measure. Let's go over here. That uh, basically is going to do the same thing as a sum, but in this case, we're going to create an explicit measure. So an explicit measure is a custom calculation we define by using a formula. And that formula is right here, sum orders revenue. So let's go back over here. Or actually, let's go over to power pivot measures. I've already created this, so I'm going to manage measures. And I'm going to get the total revenue. So let's go click on edit. So basically what this measure is doing, it's using a sum DAX formula. And it's going to the orders table and getting the revenue 
uh, for uh, uh, that table. So let's go click on cancel. Let's go over here. Let's go back over here and let's put this over here. Let's go down to the orders and find the total revenue measure, drag it into the values area. And as you can see, it calculates the same thing uh, as the implicit measure. So this is the implicit measure. This is the explicit measure that I just showed you. It calculates the same thing. It goes to the customer table, looks for each unique customer name, then goes over to the orders table and sums up uh, the revenue for each customer name. So the next step is let's, we need to get the total revenue for all customers. Uh, so in order to do that, we could use a calculate function. And that is right here. So get the total, the, uh, get, uh, the calculate function is basically, it takes a measure, in this case, the total revenue, and then uh, I'm passing it the all function. And you'll see how this works in a second. So basically, let's go back over here. Let's add that calculate, and I'll step you through this. And so basically what this is doing, the reason why this is the same for everything is because we need a common denominator. When we want to get the uh, percentage of revenue per customer, we have to take the total revenue for this customer and divide it by the total revenue for all customers. So that's what this is doing. So let's, uh, let's go back over here. So the calculate function, let's, uh, let's go back up to the measures. So let's start this from scratch. We're going to use the calculate function. The first argument is an expression. So basically, uh, what I want to pass it is the total revenue measure that we calculated before. And the total revenue, if you remember, it's the sum of the revenue in the orders table. So it's going to look at this measure, comma, and now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the all function. And what the all function does, it returns all the rows in the table or all the values in a, a particular column, ignoring any filters that might have been applied. And you'll see what this means in a second. So that's that. So what this is doing now, again, um, let's recheck the formula and it, the syntax is okay. So I'm gonna cancel out of that. So I'm gonna do that. So what the all function is doing is basically it's going against the total revenue measure and, it, and it's ignoring this filter. This filter right now is I'm filtering based upon each customer name. So it's basically taking the total measure, the, the total revenue measure, which sums up all the revenue for all customers and comes to an aggregate of 17,338. So that's why we have the same number here uh, for that instead of uh, filtering based upon this customer name. So it's just taking the total number here at the end. So that's what that does. 
Uh, so now the next step is we need to calculate a measure where divides the, uh, let's say, LS sporting goods, the total revenue for that customer name, and divide it by this total so we get a percentage of revenue. So let's go back to the pivot table. I already calculated this, and I'm going to uh, grab this over here. And so let's let's see how this re uh, um, measure is calculated. So let's go back here, manage and fix total revenue, edit. Again, what it's doing, it's taking the total revenue measure, okay? And what this total revenue measure, again, is doing, it's taking the sum of the revenue column in the orders table for this particular customer, and then it's going to take the fixed total revenue with calculate function, which we calculated here. So the denominator is always going to be the same. So it's going to take this amount divided by this total amount, 17,338. So that's what that measure is doing. So let's close out of that. So we could double click on this. And as you can see, what it's doing for it's finding the revenue for LS sporting goods and going to the orders table and it's finding all the orders for that which this comp this adding this up is 2695 as you can see down here so 2695 and now it's taken that 2695 and dividing that by the calculate of the fixed total revenue for all customers. And that's how you come to calculating the fixed um, uh, the fixed total revenue for each customer name. Hopefully this was a good tutorial on how you could use multiple functions in DAX to get a, to a specific end result that you're looking for. And I wanna thank you for stopping by today. Uh, please like, share, and comment, and also please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials in the future. Have a good day, bye now.